What up you crack whores? Welcome back to another video, Ragdoll2277. And today I'm talking I'm talking about a topic that, you know, I don't usually talk about because it's more like mopey and sad. Anyway, I wanted to talk about the future. The reason for this is it's something that's been on my mind so recently that I just kind of have to get it off of it, you know? And what a better way to get it off your mind than talking about it. And one of the things that I've really focused on is what do I want to do for the future? And that's really hard to grasp in some ways, you know what I'm saying? Like basically, there's so much to do in life. You're given all these options and yet we're never going to be able to do all of them. I've been thinking about that. Imagine, let's say you do a job, okay? This is a big problem out of the future, by the way, and speaking of not being able to do everything. You get a job. You work that job. And let's say it's a normal 9 to 5 job. You do that every day till you retire, you get old, you die. That's all you know. You know that town, you know that everybody's in it, and then eventually you're forgotten. I don't want that, okay? I'm, I'm incredibly fear, I'm incredibly afraid of being forgotten or just working the same job forever, which is kind of why I branched out to YouTube a little bit, because, you know, I'll always be up on the internet, despite if I die, you know, my channel might end up just disappearing since I'm not really, like, huge or small, but at least there'll be some fragment of myself here. And another thing that I wanted to do with YouTube is hope to get big. And I know you probably hear this from every shitty kid, you know, I want to be a famous YouTuber. Well, basically, no, I don't, I would love to, but it's a very drastic dream that will probably never be reached, which leads me to my next thing, what to do. Like, I've always wanted uh, two things, and that's to be an author and design games, because those sound really cool, and plus it leaves you a lot of open time to go and do shit, because you're limited so much in life. Now, if you have a job that's open, like you have some time in between what you do, you can see so much shit, and especially if it, like, funds you. Because that's the biggest problem with wanting to do everything, is money. You know, you need to go to college, you need all this. That's a lot of loans of paying back, and if you do have that cash, then it drains you quite a bit. So if you have something to back you, at least it's worth it, right? Well, my biggest fear is that I won't be able to find something like that. And then it's just going to be me working forever and dying, and so weird. Which is why, like, it's been on my mind so much. Because I'm getting towards the end. I'm a junior in high school. And for you Japanese people out there, I'm pretty sure it's like third, I'm a third year, or, yeah, it's basically it. I'm a junior, I'm reaching senior year, and by the time you get out of high school, you instantly have to find something to back you. And I'm afraid of clinging on to a job that will run me dry till I'm dead. You know what I'm saying? Like, basically, I'm trying to avoid that, but stuck in everybody's mind. You know, we're supposed to be on the set path of... You go through high school, then you go to college, you get a job, you work, you retire, and you live the rest of your life. I don't want to be in that path. There has to be more to life than just that. The basic path has been set for everybody, which is why we only have like a few amount of people that we actually remember, like mainly in our heads, through all these years that we've lived on this planet, which is the people who stray against the path, which is why... I strayed a little bit from my path doing this, because typically this ain't something you would do. Except for, you know, up to recent, everybody kind of does it. But whether you make it big or not is the thing. Well, I want to be an author. I'm going to dedicate myself to writing books. I want to do YouTube, because it's something I like to do. So I need to become more dedicated to this. And yes, a college degree would be nice, but do I really want that? Because you spend 18 years of your life doing the same thing. Like, I think it's from one to five is when you just start out, then you start the school. And that's a long time to be in one building doing the same thing all the time. School's emotionally draining, which is why senior year is so fun. But like, once you leave that pattern, you have to find a second one. I don't wanna fall in a pattern. I don't wanna be caged in my potential or th shit, just like general stuff I want to do or need to do. And it's always going to be in the back of my head, which is why I kind of want to make this to air it out. You know, it's just kind of like relieving the thought onto the world. So, for you people out there who know what you want to do, or shit like that, just tell me 
How do you achieve happiness from that? I don't, I genuinely cannot find out how I can ever be happy doing the same thing till the day I die. So, so all I'm kind of finding, all I'm kind of looking for, it would be a big help if you could explain it. You know, it's just a few things I'm trying to find out. And, yeah, I guess that's kind of all I have to say. It's been really, I've been thinking about this for multiple days, which is why I don't really have it scripted right now, what I'm talking about, which fire thing might seem a little mumbo-jumbo at the second, but no joke, I just can't find it out. I have teachers who've been around for years in that school, and they still have a smile on their face. But me being socially awkward and scared, I've never really asked anybody, how are you happy? Because that just seems like a fucking disrespectful question. But uh, hopefully somebody out there can tell me, or something like that. Because inside my head, I'm freaking out. I've had like six mental breakdowns in like the last week and a half. <laughs> no joke, it's been there. So, yeah. That's it. I vented. Tell me if you like are happy. And yeah. See you guys in the next one. Bye.